Hi, this is MC Shetty for a new episode of Grim Goose Wasted, where my world is still loading. In this episode, I would like to. Uh, what's that doing there? Uh, so, I would like to make sure that this input chest uh, is getting its input and that. Uh, Um, so that means that we have to put, set up some forms and I want to use the fight to this guy uh, because it can it's a single block solution to craft uh, to make plants uh, but then I need of course these Yeah, so... Okay, this will require some work. I need something to generate that slash. Um, so I'm thinking... Yeah, if I have a sand generator, so a cobblestone generator, a sand generator... Hmm, what's the best? Oh! And then something to for these stone bricks. Actually, that's a good way to generate slag. Uh, because I can make a cobblestone generator, put two inputs for this one and only keep that one. How do we make rich slag? That's also a byproduct. Uh, yeah, rich slag will probably not be easy to automate. No, okay. Um, and this one is also rich, so at least this one should work. Sawdust from the pulverizer. When so I can I have I need a tree form for that and nitre from gunpowder or actually from sand sandstone I can craft from sand with a crafter okay so that's that can be automated as well so there are options there oh it's stuck But first, um, this is turning to be a bit of a mess, so I'm considering first doing some uh, some building because I think I would like to do the form stuff in the floor above this one. Yeah, so I'm going to do some building first. I think that would be better. Uh, by the way, one small improvement. So the input chest, normally Xnet will go from the first available slot, empties it and then goes on when extracting. However, that I want it, it's, uh, so there is round robin from, for inserting, but there's also round robin for for extracting and that you can do order uh, first round slot yeah round robin that's the one so what happens then is it will go one every time exact one item of each and so the, that means the machines will get equal uh, work in this case, and we also exact single, so that's better in this case. So I did some building. Uh, this power generator, I need to move back, so not in the way as much. Um, then, yeah, this is way outside. 
this is the first floor which is far from finished and another staircase down um, so still a lot of work to do but I need torches I also need a better lighting solutions solution eventually uh, like that so let me spam a few torches here to get this is temporary just making sure there are not excessive mob spawns here um, not sure exactly what I'm going to do here at I want to do windows I think but maybe not all the way like I did here also this need to be a better door and I'm not sure I actually want to let me see I don't I haven't built that one yet exchanging gadget ah, I can just make it and Quartz. Let's see. <coughs> How does it work again? Preview, okay, that's one. And you can't undo. Okay. The effect is cool though. I ran out of blocks, I think. Um Okay, so Let's exchange these and these as well. Otherwise, it's a bit too much cobblestone. Okay, so that's good. Now I need to exchange some of that back. Yeah, that's good. Actually, I think... Yeah, these are wrong too. Like that. Um, and it's okay there. Okay, so that's better. Otherwise, it's a bit too much cobblestone. Actually, let me do that. Let's look nicer. Okay, so you see how the round robin for extraction is working. These machines are extremely slow. I want to upgrade them. Let's see. Upgrade for thermal expansion. Yeah, these are the kits hardened. Invar. What was Invar again? Invar plant. I can make that. It's good. 
Um, yeah. And I also needed uh, this one, two, bronze, bronze, actually, no, uh, so copper and tin. Copper and tin. Don't have an awful lot, but uh, it will have to do. Base needs a lot of cleanup, by the way. So that's in far. Uh, let's do the copper first. I need a lot of glass and making glass is really very time consuming. The riser seems slower than the uh, the other one. Uh, actually I need more copper than that. Let's pulverize a few of these instead. Okay. So that's bronze. I'm out of inventory space. should have enough for another one of these and one two okay so now there can be upgrades but only one but it's sufficient oh usage what is the speed one again why are there so many most of them have no clue what they even for power usage There was something for speed, wasn't it? Speed. Yes, mechanism. Okay, sorry. Um, so many mods. Efficiency upgrade, maybe. Well, let me look a bit. Okay, I'm full. I was looking at the green message only increases maximum power usage, and of course, that's not very useful. But uh, processing speed is old. Let's make some more gold. Um, okay, it's waiting for pie, marshmallow, and for marshmallow.
sugar. Okay, sugar is a bottleneck. We'll have to add some sugar to that in a moment. One, two, okay. It will be slower now. Uh, I mean, it will use more power now. Yeah, okay, that's a bit faster. Okay. Mm And let's continue making glass. Okay, uh, so sugar cane. Also, something I need to automate. And let's get some of these. As well, sugar cane and egg. So now things should start crafting here. Yeah, it's creating marshmallow. It's fun to see it working. Hopefully, I'll see a uh, thankful dinner in it soon. This one, uh, this one is not working. I'm still not, still not sure why. No, I should fill the others too. Later on, I will also automate that process. What's this missing for the thankful dinner? It has marshmallows. It's something missing again for the pie. It's missing dough. And the dough is made here. Salt, it's missing salt. And salt comes comes from where did all the salt go actually because I put in something yeah it's probably used up the salt for something else okay I have to go get some of that again and, and let's see if I can find some this one makes Salt. It was. Let me check that. Yeah. Um, bone meal. I don't have any bone meal at the moment. Just the single salt. Uh, the single meat. Uh, four of them, I mean. Let's see. Can it make? Once the salt is there, problem. Yeah. It, okay. So. Yeah. Okay. I have to. Nice. And another one. And another one. We'll have to see how this thing operates, if it gets some more constant input. So... I want to make this floor really high. Um, it's 
still set to glass, okay. Okay. So that's five high. Because actually it should be high enough so that I can put I can move that uh Kako tree in sight, I think that would be nice. Okay. So I did some more building and I found these very nice doors. Very, very cool effect. Um, okay. Do I have. Oh, I have the glass here. Because I had to move. The door is three wide, so I had to move a bit. And. Okay, and I did the same on the other side, so you can get out as well here. I really love these doors, pretty nice. I was thinking, yeah, going to do a window there, here as well. Oh, I killed the torch. Um. I need to do some terraforming here to be able to have like that. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. I also made that wall a lot bigger, so that's a view to the city. Um, not exactly sure what I'm going to do for the rest block of cards. Do I actually still have enough? Yeah, I do have enough. I want to do this for the roof. Um, let's bring up this. Let's see how can we do this best. Let's make a new pick first because this one is almost depleted. Um, so horizontal wall. bit hard to see. Let's go on down. Oh, preferably with this. Okay. Uh, I can get up there. Okay, it went a bit too far here, but uh, that's oh, I was just about to go look there, not to jump there, but it's okay now that I'm here anyway. And I have all the blocks back. So, oh, there's a staircase there as well. Oh, the reflection of the water. <laughs> nice. Um, so, okay, that's going to be our roof. Then I don't have enough that that's why it's red stone D 
these can go away. Hello to me. I have to put some torches there as well. Uh, yeah. How am I going to get out? Apparently I picked up something, maybe one of my books was still there. Let's go up here. Go to me. Go to me. Okay, that's good. And now we can do the vaulting again. This is an older version of uh, the tool, by the way. The newer one has a better user interface. But it's sufficient here. And it's certainly... I'm out of books. Okay, I will continue this. City by night is actually pretty, pretty nice. With all the lights, it's all, almost as if people are living there. Nice. Yeah, same there. So I finished this floor. I decided to break the otherwise very monotone pattern there. So let's see how it looks from the outside. Mm. The fact that the window... This should all move one. It's... A bit weird otherwise. Yeah. Let me see if I can do that with the exchanging gadget. Um, just okay. One, um, and this. See how it looks then. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, much better. You can do the same on the other side. Because here you have the same same thing go the same thing going on. Um So first terraform a bit. Bit like that. Yeah, okay. So I just crossed uh, the perimeter of the, the sphere and this is just got a warning here that I'm in a haunted building. So I will have to be careful. The reason the toxi toxicity is still uh, non is because I actually entered from here and uh, this was all... Uh, I mined this out so there was no, no chance uh, for the toxic air to seep in. Um, I probably don't have... no. Can I make an... Yeah, I will have to make another type of hammer. So, 
So I'm now inside the city, <coughs> which is a bit more dangerous, but I'm probably low enough so that it's not not a real problem. Um, I thought there was an iron iron hammer. Let's make one of these. They're not not very good, but. Uh, I need the materials. So now I enter the cave and it's finally getting toxic. And while mining with our hammer, these two didn't mine out. So a good guess, guess that there are silverfish in there. Okay, again in a building. It's broken again. So you see, I just mined this out. And the toxi toxicity is zero. At some point, yeah. It's still low, but it's slowly seeping in. Um, let's see. Let's make another one. I still need more copper and tin. I have found a bit, but not that much yet. So I just made an induction smelter. And let's for now put it on top of this one. And I forgot what I... Oh yeah, I know. So for the phytogenic... This one, I need this, this induction smelter, and that's Pulverized tin, energized closed on bucket. Uh, I made let's oh no, not here. Let's pulverize these again and close stone. Ah, I, sh I forgot, yeah, I already have close stone, so that's good. How do you make energized glowstone in the fluid transfer poser with a bucket? Um, I need to. Oh, oh, does it work again? No, I need fill. Oh yeah, I need uh, another device first because yeah, I need this one in the magma crucible, and I don't have a magma crucible yet. Yeah, actually, no, I don't have one. How do you make that one? Pyrotheum dust. Sulfur. Okay, I can get that, I think. Plenty of netherrack. And the other one. Blaze powder. Uh, I don't have that yet. No, so it will be a trip for the nether. But that will be for next episode. Because I ran out of time. Take a bit some good progress. Uh, I like the building. It's uh, it's not spectacular, it's just a big box, but it's not that bad, I think. Anyway, time to wrap up. See you next time. Bye-bye.